What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video. We are taking a look at the Super Archer. It is very effective at some of these Town Hall levels. This first replay, Town Hall 11, works well with the Zap Quake and a great use of it here. You'll notice that the Zaps were spread out um, to damage multiple different buildings, all getting the Eagle though, and taking out ultimately the entire compartment there. Um, that's quite a lot of buildings taken out just by the investment of the usual seven lightnings and the earthquake um, that's needed to take out the eagle. And taking out the eagle is very important at Town Hall 11 when you're using the Super Archer attack strategy because um, the eagle is really what's going to do the most damage to the Super Archers. They don't have that many hit points. Um, they're comparable to maybe like a wizard, I'd say. Maybe a little more than a wizard. I haven't checked the exact stats uh, lately. Um, little more hit points than a wizard we'll go with that um so the eagle can do some work on them that's why you're going to want to zap quake it down and really what's what's happening is just creating a nice big funnel for these archers um siege barracks up on the other side to kind of help push them into that jump spell and um it's with the healers on them it's really hard to kill them honestly um gives me kind of uh super witch vibes in a sense in that same thing as i've you know preached super witches so much for town hall 12 uh because they're so hard to kill the super archers are very difficult with you ha when you have the healers on them they stay in a bunch like this it's very hard for any defenses to do anything really especially with the eagle being out of the equation and you can see just the amount of uh, damage they do with the um fire through of their uh arrows it's similar to if you play in the builder base, they have the, um, whatever that cannon thing is called. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys know what it is, but it's that one type of cannon that shoots a, sh a shot and it'll hit everything in that path. It'll just go right through anything um, in that trajectory. Same thing with the arrows, the super archers. They're hitting multiple buildings oftentimes. Sometimes they'll be shooting a wall and the arrows will just kind of, as you can see right there in that cannon, they hit what's behind the wall. Um, they have a lot of range too. You don't have to worry as much about running out of time because they tend to take out buildings quickly. They can reach them a lot. You don't have to have too many jump spells, earthquake spells, wall breakers, whatever, because um, they can, uh, and you saw that right there, those last few buildings went down um, as they were shooting a wall from very far away. So they have an incredible range and um, we will go ahead and hop over to number 23 here. Taking a look at some of their hits, they used these super archers uh, the best from this war. Here's another great example. And really like, you know, I would say for base building, you should definitely make sure your eagle is not near any other defensive buildings. But in this case, it's next to the air sweepers, that's it. And really, the air sweepers have no, you know, weight for this type of ground attack. They might blow the healers, but that's really kind of negligible. Um, so, not much to say. I mean, it, it is crushing bases and it's hard to know what to do to defend against this. Um, in this case, the heroes being used to take out the clan castle troops. The thing is, the queen doesn't even necessarily have to go in to the base and follow the super archers, which makes it really different from a lot of these types of attacks we've seen. Pekka Smash, you know, Yeti Bowler, Super Witch even. A lot of those attacks, you need the queen to go in and help deal damage and uh, have her extra range. Not the case for this. And you can see here the queen, you know, dies over on the right side of the base. And then the siege barracks once again used. Uh, super archers just kind of make their way through. The important thing is that you're doing this kind of unique funnel that we've seen the last two attackers use. Where you're, you're going to use your king and queen to get a nice deep funnel on one side start them off uh, leaning to that side. So as they walk the other direction, the siege barracks kind of wraps around and guess what's in the siege barracks? Those max Valks. They're, they're gonna keep everything inside the base because they can clean up all the trash very effectively on the outside. And that's all you need. You don't need any jump spells. As you can see here, I mean, we don't have the spell space really. Um, the super archers can shoot through walls pretty effectively and they can also deal damage as we've seen while they're shooting through walls. So really you just need the Valks to kind of make sure they stay inside the base. And as long as they do that, you're good to go. So that's how you do it guys. Um, like I said, you want to create a nice big funnel with your king and queen or whatever else you're going to use. Maybe if you're lucky to zap quake on the eagle, if it's in a certain location, will kind of help with that funnel. But a nice funnel that's you know multiple layers deep into the base, 
start your super archers a little bit to that side, let them start walking the other direction, and then um, drop the siege barracks to kind of push them in, and the P.E.K.K.A., the wizards, and then eventually the Valks that come out are going to just um, keep them inside the base, at least for the most part. You can see here they leave the base, uh, but not a huge deal. Still has a lot of them up. I mean, you can count them right here. I think there was like 12 or 13 used initially, and there's quite a few still left. Um, right here, they're going to actually be able to reach the Inferno Tower. That is more range, I believe, yep it is, than the Archer Queen. So... These Inferno Towers that are supposedly, you know, unwalkable, they actually are walkable by a Super Archer. Who would have thought uh, in 2020 that, you know, an, a troop can outrange the Archer Queen? But here we go, and um, very powerful. We'll take a look at one more, then we'll move on to that Town Hall 12 hit, uh, number 21. Quick reminder, guys, um, you will be reminded at the end of the video as always, but just because we're right near the end of the month, uh, be sure to enter creator code BISECT if you haven't already. Um, a lot of times people forget because it resets every week, and um, if it's not me, at least support someone else. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, might as well give someone your support if you're going to be buying a gold pass or anything else in the shop. Uh, it helps out creators, um, some of whom do this as a full time job. I. I myself do not, but um, a lot of creators do, and uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this Town Hall 11 last time. Four healers used, 15 super archers, really loading it up. Um, going to, I believe the idea was to come in there and get the eagle taken out. It looks like that did not happen, um, or maybe the queen will come back. I actually uh, marked these attacks yesterday to watch them, and I watched them yesterday. Uh, but I kind of have a foggy memory on it. Yeah, so it looks like this is actually an interesting attack because the eagle did not go down as planned. The zap quake in this case used on the clan castle. I think the plan was good had the queen gone into the base here. But check it out. They can reach the eagle from outside. Um, they even took out a wall in the process. So there you go, guys. I mean, it's just, you know, one super troop after another really upset in the game. Uh, first, it was the super wall breaker. Um, the Super Witch, you know, I still preach all the time. People don't use it as much as they should, in my opinion. But um, Town Hall 12 Super Witch is strong. And then now the Super Archer at Town Hall 11, I would say, is up there with any attack strategy right now. I might make a separate video on Town Hall 11, just showing all the options, maybe discussing what nerfs might be in order. Um, because, in the, <laughs> look at that, the Raged Barbarians, the Super Barbs coming out. Some more Super Troops for you. Um... You know, not a bad, uh, you know, the Valks are good too, but they do a decent job kind of taking out buildings, tanking for the wizards, etc., um, keeping the super archers inside the base. So, t you know, take your pick of what you want in your siege barracks, or maybe even nothing at all. This attack still would have crushed anyway. Um, haven't noticed time being much of an issue, but, you know, I would keep an eye on the clock, make sure your setup doesn't take too long for this attack. I think this one was, yeah, this one was, you know, 220, under 220 almost. So for the most part, time is not too much of an issue, which is an even, even more of a bonus because sometimes certain attacks, it is an issue. Uh, let's take a look at that Town Hall 12 before we wrap this thing up. Um, this was the only one from this war. And I think, I think the Super Archer is just being a little squishy in terms of being low hit point compared to a lot of other troops. As you start to get to Town Hall 12, then eventually Town Hall 13, it's a little bit less viable. Um, in this case, using the zaps on the eagle, once again, spreading them out to take out the maximum amount of buildings. Great job doing that there. Um, I think the eagle going down is, in some cases, a must. Um, it's really going to be the big difference between three-starring and not. And if it doesn't go down with the zap quake, you've got to get it taken out early. As we saw in the last attack, the Super Archers, fortunately, um, were able to step up and um, take down the Eagle right as the attack began. But I would think that um, the Eagle would start to do some work on them eventually if it was just left up. But who knows, maybe the healers would be able to compensate. I, I would suspect as you get to Town Hall 12 and 13, that would be less of the case, especially with scatter shots too. I could see them wreaking some havoc on Super Archers. So I'll have to wait and see if we see a lot of those attacks used at Town Hall 13. I might try it out myself. I think I have max archers. I think I do. Um, 
I might not actually now that I think about it again. But uh, maybe I'll power potion it up and give it a try one time for you guys. Uh, maybe some fr friendly challenges or something, we'll see. But similar attack here. Um, King, queen used to take down the town hall, basically. Super archers um, coming around. And in this case, there's not even any need to jump them into the base because they can reach that inferno. Um, everything else is reachable to them. Just having them walk around the base. And the key here, once again, is that the eagle is not alive, not able to wreak any havoc on them. So they're just going to walk around the entire base. Um, you know, when the attack is there, take it. You can see a few giant bombs going off there. Not enough to kill the super archer. They are definitely higher hit points than wizards, I would say. Uh, check the stats for yourself just to be sure, but um, they're probably a little more comparable to like a, like a hog rider or something. Uh, just kind of a mid-level hit point troop. 12 troop space, very uh, very doable for these attacks. And it looks like people are using 4 healers for the most part. You can use 5 if you'd like, but uh, check that out. A bunch of wizards, a bunch of super archers just wreaking havoc on the base. And at some point, they're going to turn and just uh, take down the uh, multi-inferno there. They're, they're very easy to heal, too, for the healers, because they don't run out too far in front. You know, they keep a distance. The air defenses aren't going to shoot the healers because they're staying far enough back. The air defense will get taken out before it has a chance to shoot the healers. So they're very, you know, friendly to be healed, which is what you want to see for this type of attack. I mean, there was a ton of them left up at the end. They just disappeared there, of course, but, you know... Love to use it, guys. Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11, maybe Town Hall 13. Let me know in the comments if, you, if you've used it, if um, you have any other ideas for how to use it uh, in other attacks, maybe a different uh, type army composition, no healer, something else. Curious to see what your guys' thoughts are on this video and this attack and the new Super Archer. So let me know. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.